I mean, you are a Pokemon trainer An player. I, un I I know that you now are, you know, the, the big sexy boy or whatever. <laughs> but uh, you do know this character, and I assume you know this matchup. I do. This matchup is traditionally considered to be extremely bad for Captain F Falcon just because the edge guards. Okay. So let me let me talk about this before we get into the actual play play. And this is gonna be Squirtle, if he grabs you, he does more to Falcon than Falcon does to PT every time. Now, Ivysaur edge guards way harder than Captain Falcon can edge guard PT. And Charizard is also really good at edge guard. With all that said, we look at all smash. With all of uh, of that said, PT's frame one escape option is not good at all in this matchup. His combos are too tight. He's able to up-air too many times. He can't switch out of combos ever. Oh, oh nice what tech. a beautiful attack. Excellent attack. And Gatsby be like, began this with like an 80% string without any uh, hits from, from Nick, or from Noku. And yeah. since then, though, Noku has been holding steady, and he's getting all the damage back that he lost. Yeah, it often feels like... Oh, okay. There, nice. Finish this there. But it often feels like with Falcon, um, there are these ranges where you could die. You could yeah. get, like, near, you know, uh, near one into knee, or you could get up air into knee, or just, like, down air off stage. But oh, then man. once you get past a certain percent threshold, you're like, he kind of has to kill me raw and neutral. He has to kill with, like, a raw up smash, or, like, a raw back throw, back air. Yeah, and then those are a lot harder to hit than, like, his actual kill setups or, like, his frame shots into kills. I've... These uh, Squirtle combos from Noku, I know that he, uh, like, for instance, didn't enter last week. Yeah. But they don't seem to be getting as much damage as I no, normally see. No, he definitely should be getting more. Even, like, there, he should be, should be getting into at least, like, 60. And it's, he's just a very comboable character. And you notice, Gatsby's not messing up his punish game. That little thing right there where he tried to get the other pass was a read. But, like, he's not messing up his combos. Nick it definitely needs to be a little cleaner on his execution. Oh, I like that switch to Ivysaur, knowing that the jungle situation was in front of him. I like it too. What? Wow, he was behind him. He 70 died for it. He charged that. Yeah, he deserved to die for it. He jumped right into yeah. it. Yeah. There were so many options. <laughs> there to were. Yeah. To not, I'm not, what do you use? Oh, yeah, there, hit him yeah, for it. Yeah, oh go, yeah just get out of this game. Dude, excellent work. Okay, I was about to say, you said I like that change to Ivysaur, and you're not wrong that it was a good change to Ivysaur in, in the moment, but I will say, Ivysaur gets rushed down by Captain Falcon. If Ivysaur gets to edge guard him, great. If he's on stage in neutral, it's not good for him. I'm just going to be honest. Doesn't he have the range, though, to he has, try and roll him out? He has a forward air? Not, not really. Bear is not a fast move at all. So, like, if Falcon baits out one bear and he, like, dashes out of it, he can just grab him for it every time. I Ivysaur gets rushed down by a lot of characters. So I think like the main, the name of the game here is Squirtle for damage and then putting him off stage. Ivysaur for the actual edge guard and like Charizard when you're at high percent. This is what I want to see, the Whirlpools. Ah, he doesn't finish it though. Okay, well, back throw to put him off stage. We haven't even really seen a completed edge guard from Noku yet. No, we haven't. Normally, that's supposed to be one of the best parts. Why did he approach the Alps match? That's so scary. I know well, he was It doesn't even... Uh, the transcendence with the not side tra beat, Not but. transcendence, but he can't take damage. And that's true, but... Oh! He gets it, but he doesn't kill him. Excellent up there from Nick. That was or from Noku. That was, that was very smart. So he can approach with the withdraw, but if he gets hit in withdraw, he gets sent flying back, which is not good for him if you want to get edge guard like this. It really makes it back with the, the vine whip. Double right. up air, triple up air. Quadruple, oh, can we get five? <laughs> oh my god, he popped up once and took 80 for it. That was crazy. Now we have to switch to Charizard. Charizard much better at surviving, but he doesn't really need that right yeah, now. Yeah, he needs survivability, and he's not really going to kill him yet either. But oh, back air will kill. Yeah. Forward air, well, too. Forward air will kill, too. Yeah. You know what? Good job by Nick. I think he's very confident with Charizard, which is... I think, Damn. honestly, Charizard in neutral in this matchup is pretty good. Well, Better I mean, than Ivysaur. We were saying how, oh, Charizard can't kill at this percent, but the thing is that once he got stage positioning, he did, and Charizard, yeah. just his presence itself, yes. got him stage positioning. People get oh, afraid. That was a great drift by, by Gatsby. He got around that Nair. Oh, yeah, that recovery was fantastic. That's yeah. another one of those uppies. It's such a, it's one of those options that really puts the fear in his opponent. Yeah. But if he messes that up once, if they spot dodge it, if they're, I 
I mean, yeah, as we see right there, Noku able to close it out with the Razor Leaf up smash. Yeah. Or up air, rather. I think that that uh, projectile is very good against Captain Falcon. Like, the actual range that Ivysaur has is not super helpful, but the projectile is extremely good. And you have to be, I mean, as a rushdown character like Captain Falcon, you have to be used to getting projectile camps. You have to be, like, aware of how to get around them, how to parry them, all, all that. So I'm, I'm actually surprised to see him get hit by, like, the first one that he really threw out at the end there. Um, in terms of what you said about Charizard's presence giving him control, I agree with you. People get very afraid when they see Charizard. They run away from him no, no matter what. They try to camp him no matter what. Yeah, and, and I mean, his buttons are bad. You have to just, like, get in on him. But the thing know? is, like, once he, once he encroaches, gets closer to you, and you are then forward tilt range, yeah. you're just like, I don't want to yeah, be in forward yeah, tilt range true. anymore. <laughs> or back air range, God forbid. Okay. Good start for Gatsby. Oh, yes. he gets a turnaround grab, too. Oh, and it's like, so, he, you know, when Noku switches to Ivysaur in that situation, you know, it is good for, you know, that frame one invincibility, but now he is Ivysaur, still kind of caught in this combo. Yes. Finally manages to get an opening for himself. What are you, what? Uh, what? Uh, okay. Fine, sure. <laughs> that was some very hard timing from Gatsby to try to hit that after it went forward. I know you do not agree with it. Nair Neem, that's going to be it. Flamethrower is a, usually a very good move to like push people away. Falcon is quick enough and he falls quickly enough to like land on you with a Nair and kill you for it though. Space the forward air from yeah. the squirrel. Did you see that? That was very, very nice. Like, Gatsby is aware of the defensive options that Noku is trying to pick, and that's how these combos have been extended so brutally. Oh, up air? Oh, wow. You like baited the up air and then went into a bear. Nice fun, honestly. I did not see that coming. Squirtle tick? Yeah. Oh, he's staying Charizard. What? Interesting. Yeah, he knew he wanted to change. That's why he did that up smash, but he missed time to buy a little bit. I mean, it was still a thing for coverage. Like, if he tried to jump out with Charizard, which is something that Charizard likes to do, having True. multiple jumps, and also with the, the end lag of it, I, he was still able to punish the Squirtle. Yes, but I, I, I feel like if you're going to keep the combo going with, with Falcon versus Charizard, you'll be a... Oh, he wall jumped. I think that messed up his timing. I think I don't know if that was on purpose. I'm very surprised. Oh, nice spot dodge. I really like that. You see, he's not afraid of Charizard now. He's only at 60. So he can just kind of... Oh, well, I will say 60 is not that bad, but you do kind of oh, have to be a little bit scared of Charizard at 60. Dash attack. Interesting. I thought up smash for sure then. I, I, up smash, maybe he was worried about it not being fast enough. It's maybe not fast enough, but that move was huge. Now, 88, you can definitely die. Oh, and that's the mess up that, that was, we were talking about. Yeah, and he, he, I actually like the idea to do the, the down smash because he's a lot of drift and he didn't know which side is going to be on. F throw? Not yet. But the edge guard? Maybe. One more F from that be it. And nice turnaround up smash. Excellent job. Yeah, and this Charizard is surviving. And this is once again at the... Oh, it's going to be a back air. I'm not sure exactly what... I think he went flamethrower to try and stop the dash dance. He was yeah. expecting, you know, that sort of dashing in and out from Gatsby. But Gatsby instead goes high, gets that back air. Did you see that that, that run past him turnaround grab? And that, it would have caught him in every other scenario, but it sort of threw out a very long-lasting area. So he was able to actually hit him for it. Oh, this is scary now. This is very scary. He makes it back with an aggressive dare, and now he's going to oh. stay Charizard probably for the rest of, the, of this game, I would bet, considering how well we went for him in stock two. He's not I mean, afraid of dying yet, really. I dare? Mean, <laughs> if I were him, there are absolutely things that Gatsby can do to end True. his stock, especially right now. But wait, 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 you're going to go that deep for it? Oh my goodness. They got the very basic angle, but Gatsby's not scared. And then not, he's not there. No, not but close. We are seeing the adaptation coming up from both players. Oh, I like that! I like that so much! He tried doing that before. He I did. didn't know what he was I going for. I didn't know what he was doing either. But now that I saw it hit, I really like that option. It catches every ledge get-up move, and that's what Charizard wants to Except do. Except for roll, right? Well, I, I, I mean, like, 